Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the linear algebra. Today we will discuss about the row reduced Ackland form. Myself, Dr. Gar, working in the School of Mathematics, Thapar Institute. What is the meaning of the row reduced Ackland form? Firstly, we will understand what is the row Ackland form are there. Any of the matrix like of this or this, when you can set it to be the row Ackland form, when it satisfies the certain property. The property number one is if any of the row consists of only the zeros, then it should be at the bottom of the matrix. So if you look about these two examples, is there any of the row which consists of only zeros? No. But if I say if like of this, say there are the th there are the four, this is the row, but since this the all the zeros are there, so it must be present at the bottom of the matrix. Another property is that first the non-zero leading entries, like of the first non-zero leading entries my here. In the second row, the first non-leading entry is my here. And it is strictly right of this. What is the meaning of that? You have to make them as a upper triangular matrix. What is the meaning of that? If, if you look about that, the first non-zero leading entry lies in the column C1. The second non-zero leading element is lies in the column C3. In this case is a C4. So column 1 is less than of the here and that is the indexing is preserved. While in this case, the first non-zero leading entry is in the C1. Second non-zero entry is lies in the C3 and then C2 and clearly sees that it can't preserve the ordering is there. So therefore, this is my row reduced actual form, but this is not the row reduced actual form because it does not satisfy this property. Once it is not a row reduced, then you have to make them as a row reduced by interchanging the values of the R2 and R3 respectively. Then you can see that this is a row, row actual form. Once you will define the row Eklund form, then we are able to define the row reduced Eklund form. Like of this, when this metric is said to be the row Eklund form, when it satisfies these two properties, plus along with them other two properties are there. The first property is the first non-zero element in each row must be of the one. While in the row Eklund form, you have seen that the first non-zero element, it may or may not be a one. But once you are using the word of the reduce, then it must be F, the first non-zero element should be a 1 R there. So you can see all these three metrics satisfy this first property. Second property is if the column consists of the first non-zero entries, then the all these value which are lies in the upside and the below side should be a 0 like of this. So this is there, all the values up and 0 are here. This up and here. So this is there. And the rest two properties are same as that of the Eklund form are there. Can you say this is the row reduce? You can see the first property is satisfied. This is also satisfied. This is first property is 1. All the values above and below are my 0 and here. So and also the first non-zero element is the C1, then C2, then C4. It preserves the indexing. So it means this is the row reduce Eklund form. Is this a row reduce Eklund form? The first non-zero element 1. This is also 1. And here the last, uh, so this is also the row reduced actual form. But this is not. Why? Because the first non-zero element is here is my this point and all the elements above and below must be zero but this value is a non-zero. Same for here. These two values must be zero. So it means this is the not a row reduced. Thing. Say one more, some more examples are, is this a row reduced actual form? No. Because the first non-zero element must be a one. So it fails to satisfy the first property. So therefore it is not a row reduce. Is this a row reduce? If first property is satisfied that's fine. This is also satisfied. This is also satisfied. First property is satisfied. Every element above and below 0, above below 0. This is not be 0 because this value must be a 0. So it means this property satisfy the first condition but fail to satisfy the second condition in this column third. Therefore it is not a row reduce. So once it is not a row reduce, then your target is to convert them into the row reduce by using elementary row operation. What is the elementary row operation is? You have to use them like of here. You can use them like of this and so on. How you can make them? Let's say discussion on the each properties. Can this be the row reduce? No, because once it is not a row reduce, then your target is to convert them into the row reduce. So since each of the row contains the first element should be the one, so we can use this elementary operations as of here. Once you will apply this, now it becomes the first
first property as satisfied so it is a row reduce similarly you can see is this a row reduce no because this value up above and zero is zero and one but this value is a non zero it means this is not a row reduce how you can make them as a row reduce so your target is to make them this value as of zero so i can use the row elementary operation r1 minus r3 and now you can see this is a row reduce is this a there yes because all those all those rows which are having a zero should be at the bottom of the matrix but this is not a row reduce so how you can make them you can simply interchange the row 2 and the row 3 then it becomes a row reduce are they are they row reduce natural form yes you can see that first element is my one above and below elements are there but you can see this first element is like the first then second and then third it preserve the indexing same for here these are the row reduce but these are not the row reduce because the first columns then is a third and then is a second which is not preserving the order of the indexing are there it means this is not row reduce so we can interchange the row 2 and the row 3 then it becomes a row reduce is this a row reduce echelon form you can check that the first non zero element should be 1 above and below values are must be 0 that's fine and indexing you can preserve that this is a first column this is a second and this is a third it is also be there so the answer is yes is this a row reduce echelon form you can see the first non zero element is 1 above and below is 1 but you can see this value is a non zero because this is my first non zero elements above and the below element must be zero so since this is a non zero so how you can make them you can use the elementary operations and now you can see this is the row reduce how you can make them row reduce echelon form we will discuss about the seven to eight example more so how you can row reduce so your first target is to make them this value as a one how you make them one you can divide it by three on both sides then your target is to make them as a zero this is the first method i will tell you and second method i will tell you as a shortcut to x how you make them as a second as a zero and zero you can use the elementary row operations are there but once you will apply this operation then you have to compute this by using these two elementary operations and it will take a, a lot of time how you can make the calculation easier in your examination so that it will take within a one minute you can complete this table so i will tell you a second method and it is a shortcut to XR there. how you can apply that so remember that your first target is to make them as a one so you can simply divide this as of one now once you will make them write the first entries column as the identity matrix itself you can write here. now instead of the writing the operations are there your target is to compute these four values what is the rule behind that the rule is simply determinant divided by box element this is the rule behind that what is the box is since this is my first so this is my here now what is the determinant now how you can find this value are there what is the previous value of this is my one you can write here in the rough side the box element is my three now choose the other two values from this matrix so that it becomes a box you can see one and five if you choose one and five it becomes a box now find the determinant of this always remember when you are finding the determinant start from the box element so it will be my three minus five so it will be my minus of two so the answer corresponding to this is my minus 2 by 3 there is no need to write as of r2 minus of 5 r1 and so on look at this value what is the previous value is my 2 always remember box will be there previous value is my 2 here what are the other two values 1 and the 5 you can write as 1 and 5 find the determinant of this this is my 6 this is my always start from the box 6 minus 5 divided by box element so it answer is 1 by 3 you can easily find this value but is the previous value of this is box element is my 3 previous value of at this point is my 2 what are the other two values are there 1 and 4 always remember you have to make them here what are the determinant of this start from the box element it will be my 6 minus 4 divided by box element it is my 2 by 3 same for here 7 it's my box element is my 3 previous value is 7 then 4 and 1 so it will be 21 minus 4 7 3 21 minus 4 that's a 17 divided by box element and how you can write that you can write it directly that whatever the value is say 5 you can write as a 5 this is a 4 it's a minus of 4 
now how you can do that now your target is to make them this value as a 1 so you can divide this r2 as of minus 2 by 3 so once you will make them you can write this as of here now make them as i since the previous values are mad you can write it directly here now you can see your target is to only compute the two values only instead of writing here as r1 r3 of this how you can make them this is r1 what is the value of this is 1 by 3 what is the value of this is 2 by 3 instead of using these elementary operation you can write them as a shortcut tricks finding these two values what are there now the box element is my here previous value now you can write as box element is my this previous value at this point is my 1 by 3 other two values are my this and 1 by 3 now find the determinant of this always remember start from the box element firstly so and divided by the box element minus 2 by 3 it is minus 2 by 9 it is my minus 1 by 9 divided by box element so what is that this is 3 by 9 minus 1 by 3 upon minus 2 by 3 the so answer is 1 by 2 same for here now you can take them these four elements it will be my minus 34 upon 9 minus of 2 upon 9 divided by box elements so it is 36 minus 4 3 upon minus 2 that is my 6 is there now you have to make them this now you can make them as this divided this by 6 you can make them here right above above and below now there is no need to calculate them you can write it directly as r1 and r2 as of r1 what is the value of this is my half of r3 what is the value of this is minus half so minus minus plus of half and this is the rho reduce actual form. so now you can uh, do it some more examples are there with the shortcut tricks your target is to make them first entries as a one so it is already a one so there is no need to write like here now you can make them as of zero now let's compute this value what is the previous value is four one is the box make them determinant four minus four zero divided by the box element one so it's a zero next value is here previous value is eight one and two that is one one two and eight so this is eight minus two divided by box element what is that this is six minus of two six minus two uh, sorry six minus zero divided by box is six is there look at this value this previous this is my box element previous value is zero zero and two so it will be my zero it will be my zero so zero minus zero is zero five minus five minus zero upon one that's five 8 minus 0 upon 1 is 0, 5 and 8. Look at the last value, this by box element, 6 minus 6, 0 upon 1, 6 minus 3 upon 1, 3 minus 0 upon 1. So how you can write them? You can write them after the calculation, you can write them as a shortcuts directly. What is the value of 2, 0 and 1? So you can write here as 2 R1, 0 R1 and 3 r 1 once you will compute them here now your next target is to make them this value as a 1 you can diagonal them use the previous value now your target is to compute these only 6 values are there so let me firstly find this value what is that value so it's a 0 minus 6 0 minus 6 upon the box element that is my minus 1 look at this value this value is the previous value so that's uh, my 0 minus 0 that's uh, 0 and so on so once you will compute them you will get this required answer now you can make them third diagonal entries the first non zero elements is 3 you can make them as a 1 you can write here as a 1 write them i this value is as such this value is as such your target is to find only these three values are here how you can make them now this is my box element now uh, you can write them as of here now this is my box element so how you can compute this value is so 6 0 and minus 1 so 6 plus 0 6 plus 0 divided by here you can see this is 0 plus 0 is 0 0 minus 0 is 0 so 2 0 0 are here and you can write it directly as of is you can write as a plus 1 r3 minus 1 r this is my r1 this is my r2 and this is my r4 is my here this is 
minus 1 plus 1 and the 0 now you can see this is the row reduce h length look at the another one is there your target is to make them as a i make them one you can divide them and write as a i how you compute them this is the box element you can see this is a 35 minus 6 that is a 29 divided by box element you can make them as a 0 plus 3 divided by box element 20 minus 0 divided by box element that's a 5 and 4 is there you can write this operation as 3 and 2 are there make them this value as a 1 divided by 5 by 29 multiply by 5 by 29 here now your target is to compute these four values b so let me find this is the box element how you can compute this value you can see this is my minus 29 by 25 this is my always start from the box minus 6 by 25 divided by box elements it will be my minus 35 by 25 divided by 29 by 5 so it is a 7 it's a 5 minus 7 by 29 and you can see the other values are now your next target is to make them this value as a i now if you make them as a i now here previous value are same now you have to compute only the two values otherwise you have to compute them as all these values are there make them this as a diagonals now how you compute this value you can take this this and this find the determinants start from here you will get otherwise you have to apply these two operations are there it will take a lot of time look at the another value another example make them as a one how you compute these values this is my minus of two this is my plus of one that is divided by box element is my minus half four minus of two divided by box element is a one and similarly you can compute here two minus three that's minus one by two minus four plus six divided by two is my one you can write the operation as it's a minus one so it's a minus minus plus one it's a minus of three make them this as a one you can divide them as a half now only compute these two values are there and you can write this value as r1 and r3 as directly r1 minus minus what is the value of the now this is my box what is the previous value is my half of r2 is minus 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 plus of half r2 how you compute them this is my plus of half this is my minus of half that's a zero divided by box element it's a zero similarly you can compute this value out here now this is the row reduce actually look at the last example are there now your target is to firstly make them as a one but it is not possible so you can make them either as a interchange r2 or with respect to the r3 you can make them either of them so i use this here now make them as a one divided by four on here now compute these four values are there let me firstly find this value uh, this is my box previous value is one so four six one and two so that's a four minus 12 divided by 4 that is my minus 8 by 4 is my minus 2 and so on. now make them this value as a 1 it is already 1 so you have to make them as of here can you compute these values are there so this is my 1 you can see this is a half this value is my 3 by 2 minus 0 this is my 2 minus 2 0 minus 2 plus 0 is 0 and this is the row reduce HLN. So this is the way you can convert them into the row reduced HLN form with this shortcut tricks are there. Remember that you have to start from the box element. We will see in our next class how you can find the rank of the matrix. Till then you can simply follow this link for finding the various videos. Best of luck students. Happy learning.